You can't turn on the radio these days without hearing Florence and the Machine. So when we heard Florence was at Oxygen, we jumped at the chance to talk to the woman behind so many hits. So Florence, here at Oxygen, how does this compare to all the festivals you've been playing recently? Um, it's quite ra rainy. <laughs> Isn't it? But how are you so dry? You look amazing. You're completely dry though. How did you pull off? I that? have been wearing a raincoat. Oh so really? So I've been, I've been quite kept, kept dry. But yeah, I'm, I, it's funny. We played last year as well. Uh, and it does. It just seems like kind of yesterday that I was really? here. Yeah, I can't believe like it's come. It's come round again so soon. And we were in a little tent then, and now we're on the main stage. It's, like, it's amazing. Is everything a blur when you're on tour? Because I, I heard that you get lonely on the road sometimes. And is the hard being on tour all the time? Um, it is like uh, sometimes you know when you've you you, you get so tired, it, it, can, it can you can get really homesick. Um, and but I think like playing. What's really nice about playing festivals is you get to hang around with other bands and you know s swap tour stories and uh, it's it's nice. There's a real sense of like camaraderie about it and I think that's why playing festivals is such fun because it's not just you. You know, it's not just you and your band. You know, there's loads of other people to see and okay. kind of kind of have a bit more of an experience. Florence Duet is on the hugely successful remix of You've Got the Love with rapper Dizzy Rascal. So would you do another live duet with Dizzy again? We haven't spoken about it. Um, but I love I love Dizzy, so it'd be nice to see him anyway. You mentioned the photographers. Wherever you go, you attract a crowd. Do you, do you like the fame side? I heard you're not too into it. Um, it, it's just a bit like daunting, I think, especially when you're trying to talk and there's lots of people <laughs> taking. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, oh, it's quite. Uh, it just kind of get it gets slightly distracting. Okay. Now your look, as I said to you before, we went on camera. It's amazing. I, I love what you wear. I love your hair. Is this like? Is this your inspiration, or do you have a team of stylists, or how do you do it? <laughs> oh, no, I can't bring a team of stylists with me on the road. <laughs> uh, some people do. Have you done? Yeah, I mean, I don't have. Um, I don't have. Wow, things have got a bit crazy. I know. What's all these people? Um, I don't have a stylist with me on the road. I, we have a really nice case that we put all the outfits in, so I can kind of get to choose what I wear before the stage. But yeah, I just brought this stuff from home, just in a regular, you know, regular suitcase. Are you a shopper? Just broken. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm such a shopper. I, I can't go anywhere without like, finding the nearest vintage store and stuff. I've heard you say the next album's going to have a bit of a chemical feel. What does that, what does that mean? A kind of a, a, a crystal something I heard of it, maybe? I think, um, I think, sorry, this is getting a bit... Uh... So many of Florence's fans had gathered around us that we had to move the interview to another location for safety reasons. But being a true professional, Florence was willing to continue. Well, Florence, that was absolutely crazy. We were talking about fame a minute ago, but that really yeah. is being famous. What was that? that? Was quite frightening, I think. It just happened all of a sudden. Like people are always really nice, but sometimes when they're sudden, when there's not very many people and there's suddenly there's loads, it can, it's a bit. It's kind of scary. It's intimidating, yeah. isn't it? I felt it. It was very, very strange. But anyway, it's a true. You nearly scrapped the first album. We wouldn't have had the first album because you split up with the, your boyfriend or something. I heard. No, no, it wasn't. I mean, I, I just kind of put myself through a kind of a bit of a rough ride, and I think it's not like I scrapped it. I just think I kind of nearly ruined it. <laughs> well, lucky for us, you didn't, Florence. Florence and the Machine's album Lungs is in shops now. Oh!